Hello everyone, welcome back to Automaton episode number 42, picking up right where we left off last episode. Um, so I was looking at some comments from some of the previous videos, and I promise I will get some replies back to you guys very soon. I kind of want to do a, a to-do board, because I don't think we have any clipboards or anything like that. Um, we, I mean, I guess I can make a book and quill. But signs are just fine, kind of like a notice board. Maybe something like right here, real quick. Really? Ha okay. Where's, where's, where's that? I'm just, I'm just turning that off. Go away, please. I'm so tired of this thing always going off, even when I have it set right. Anyways, no, notice board. There we oh, and <laughs> oh, freaking fuck. Now it's my phone. Anyways. Um, I think, can we re-edit these, by the way, if we, oh, you can't, oh, oh, there we go, okay, that's, that's an E. Um, someone said something about, if we have cork, do we, we do have cork, right? They said something about having a smoker block in cork, and it's in the nether. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll have to go take a look into finding that. And I'm going to write that down as a, a one thing I do want to do on... Our notice board find smoking block because I do well you know what there you go <laughs> um, someone also mentioned making a generator and some of you guys had some other ideas for generators on our ship um, but I think a, 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 a some sort of generator is gonna be needed like generator engine on the ship and I'll know what that means because engine so um, I wanted to go ahead and write those things down. I thought those were just pretty awesome, amazing ideas. And uh, definitely get a powered lantern on there. Was in an intention, for sure, to keep all those stupid torches out of the way. But anyways, today, I think what we're going to be working on is maybe starting to work on transferring some of those liquids over. And possibly even seeing how to get those hooked up to our system here. Now, either I'm thinking a crap ton of ender tanks, which could be a little bit of a pain to be honest, because that's a lot of laser rods, and I don't have that many. But uh, it looks like we're going to probably need about six of these, and I don't think I'm going to have enough laser rods. Literally too short. Too, guys, too short. Anyways, um, because I, I don't really see a way reliably to pull or push all of that over unless I had put which was probably a smarter thing thinking back on it is maybe putting that freighter right next or a little bit closer to the oil rig we could have literally just piped it over and it probably still wouldn't have looked that bad um, so but it's it's fine we'll we'll make it work and we'll still make it work and look good at the same time because that's what I like to do I like to make things look good. So, or at least the best I can. Um, I'm thinking, what do we got in terms of dye? We got some yellow dye. We got some puppets. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. We're going to have to set this up just right in order to kind of get the color. Um, maybe you and you give you a little bit of fuel. Can you auto split for me, please? Just make this a little bit faster for me. All right, so we got a little bit of red. So what liquids do we have? We have lubricant. We got. Oh my God, phone! I I hate you so much right now. Anyways, all right. So we got we got these three things. Um, we're gonna start this off with the ender tank. This is gonna be step one. So let's head out here to our oil rig, and actually, we're probably gonna need. Honestly, because we have no way of extracting out of them, um, they're not the the regular pipes are not going to work. So we are going to need a mechanical pipe. We'll go ahead and do the ultimate mechanical pipe because it sounds awesome and it look it, it's it is great. So it's definitely worth doing. Uh, let's see where are we at configurator, my friend. This little guy, we're going to be taking to the nether soon enough, and I promise you, we are going to be getting some more blaze rods. Now, I could set up the Woot, but I'll have to upgrade it to the next tier in order to do that, which I might need more heads, unfortunately, because it seems to kind of take quite a bit of those. 
How are we doing on this? Not too bad at all. Alright, so we're finally starting to build up a, a nice little reserve again of our crude oil. And we still have a lot of gasoline just sitting in there. A ton of biodiesel ready to be used from our biodiesel generator. I think it would be cool to have one of these inside of the freighter. Or the whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't really know. But um, it would look cool. But I think it's just a little too much power. Honestly. Might just be a bit much. So, actually, could we do... I mean, technically speaking... Oh, we're also going to need to do something else as well Once before we start draining these. Um, what we could do is save an ender tank if we do routing over there as well. We could actually technically we could save a bunch and just have all of these route out the back to one. Oh dang! Actually, you can't because these. Ugh. Ah! No! Son of a butt! Crap hole! Dang it! Oh my gosh! That is. Annoying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the day is going swimmingly. And I still have a lot left to do today. This is just amazing. Oh, great. I hope you guys come to the stream tonight on Halloween. This is Halloween day. Um, ho hopefully you guys all have a very safe and happy Halloween. For those of you guys that are celebrating, if not, I hope you have a great day. Regardless, I got to make some stuff. Let's make some fluid sorters. This is This is... Liquid sorter, maybe? I I don't even... Right there, fluid router. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, we're gonna need... We'll just grab three in case. Um, a bucket or so? So we can tell this thing... How to do its job? Jeez Louise, man. And we was doing so good, too, until those meddling tanks got in my way. Oh gosh, that sucks. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I will be live streaming this evening. Probably some Sky Adventures. Might do a little bit of Automaton. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll just kind of see what I'm in the mood for. But um, yeah, we got something kind of special going on this evening. And hopefully, if you guys are interested and you guys want to see and laugh at me, by all means. Make your way over to the stream. You'll have a great time, I'm sure. <laughs> I say it so, and I sound so sarcastically, but yeah. So how do I know which side these are on? Oh, okay, top, bottom. Okay, so bottom, we want this to be what? What are you? You're diesel. So I want the bottom to be diesel. There you go. And technically, we only need one here because we can literally just do this. Okay, I was going to say, if you if you fell, I was going to be extremely upset. Oh, actually, no, that worked out well. Perfect. Okay, good. Whew. But I still want to do this. All right, so what do we got? Lubricant on bottom. And we'll put that back in. Grab some gasoline. And gasoline is on yellow. So all we're going to do is find yellow. And we don't have to worry about looking at sides. Be a little bit faster this way. So yellow on the east side and pretty much if we empty out these tanks it'll be the same no matter what it's fine we could could have done it a little bit differently but this should work out perfectly all right so instead of writing them out the back as we have found that does not work uh can i maybe we'll just do this because i really don't want this to touch that pipe over there i really don't maybe route it over like this or you know what we could do actually no god dang it oh today is just not my day guys oh my gosh why why is this happening today is this like a curse or some sort of bad luck on my part I don't understand <laughs> feel like I'm cursed today, guys. <laughs> Why? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got an idea. What if we just did this? 
Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Try not to break these in the process. Of course, this one would be set up right there like that. So, let's see. You know what? I'll probably just move this one. It doesn't necessarily have to be there. But we can route this underneath. And it might look a little bit nicer this way. In all fairness. And then let's go ahead and replace the ones that need to be replacing so it looks halfway decent. And then we can go ahead and place our ender tank here. Nice. What the heck was that sound? I don't like that. Anyways, um, so we're going to go ahead and start setting these all to export. Now, here's what's going to happen, right? This is going to be a little bit slow because we literally only have one ender tank we're going to be setting up here. All of these fluids are going to try to go through the same spot. It's going to take them a while to kind of get through the system, but we're kind of saving on the ender tanks at the moment. Now, this is set up to white, 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 and I'm pretty sure this is what? Diesel, okay. All right, we need to go. We need to go sleep like right now. Okay, I got a bed. Sweet. Totally forgot I had it. Um, but yeah, we'll have it routing over there with a, a fluid router instead, and th that'll save us an ender tank. It's not like the biggest issue in the world, um, but just kind of routing it would probably be the best. In fact, I don't even really need to make another router. I think with the way I'm going to be setting this up. We should be okay. Let me just go grab some pipes real quick, actually. So we can actually set this up. And then we'll see if we can possibly even try to hook it up to our AE system. And I had a couple ideas on how I might do that. Maybe setting it up on a uh, storage bus of sorts. Might not be the worst idea in the world. It might work out pretty well, actually. If I do some more building, which I am plan on doing very soon anyway. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to play on the Fallout 76 beta, which was something I was really looking forward to. They had some issues going on the other night, and unfortunately, I just I didn't get a chance to download it again in time and install it. Literally finished right at the time the beta ended, but they're going to be extending it, so that's cool. I will be playing it on Thursday on stream, so if you guys are interested and want to come over and check it out, by all means, um, come on over. Now, some of you guys were saying most of these should be up the front, and I actually kind of agree. I'm thinking about taking off a, a pair of these these back ones here and putting them up front. Now, I'm probably not going to do all of them today up there, but I am going to go ahead and clear this out, and I will grab all of those. And we'll probably just go ahead and replace... Eh, I'll, I'll dig out the holes. Why not? We'll dig out the holes real quick. I'll show you how I, how I did it. <laughs> I mean, it pretty much should be pretty easy to figure out. I mean, we, we've made these tanks a couple times on camera. But I'm going to make... I need to make a couple of them anyway because... Um, do I have them all? I think I do. Um, because the way I want to set this up, I'll show you guys what I got planned. All right, so here we go. Let's do, we got a three space in between this. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One space between, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now these things are actually pretty quick to set up. I usually like to start off with that. I go up one, two, place up my last block there. Do the exact same thing on this side. And then what we do is we go down under. The down under. And I'm going to grab all these and we're going to replace all of those in the back. Which we're still going to have a lot more of these tanks, like I said. But, for now, this will be fine. Place those two there. Grab these guys. And, come on. There we go. You just got to make sure you're close enough where it doesn't recognize. There you go. 
And there's one. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and do the last two real quick. Because like I said, I need the, the three sets for what I'm planning on doing. In fact, I'm just going to do one side. I'll do the other one a little bit later on. Just for the sake of time. All right, come on, come on. Now, this is the only downside about these ladders. I find it kind of difficult to make my way down sometimes. It's kind of annoying. All right, there we go. All right, and then we're going to head back over on this side. We're going to go ahead and try and fill in what we can here real quick. Just so it looks good. We're good-ish. There we go. Alright, that's because we didn't dig out the other one. I could go dig. I'll, I'll just dig that out just so to fill that in because that might trigger some people. <laughs> it kind of bothers me a little bit, honestly. But this will look this will look really nice. I'm really excited to finish this build. This one's gonna be one of my better boats I've ever built. I haven't built many boats in my Minecraft lifetime, but in the future. I might do it again because this one actually is starting to turn out pretty well. Anywho, we're going to start off from the back back here. We're going to grab our ender tank. We're going to go ahead and probably... We don't really need to do one of these because this has an automatic export. And we're going to export into these fluids here. But we're going to go ahead and grab a fluid router. We already got two of the necessary liquids we're going to need to route these items appropriately. Now, I said I was going to be okay with one. And I think I lied. I'm going to need more than one. I am going to need a few, actually. I was thinking if I set it up in a line appropriately, I would I'd probably be okay. But considering the fact that we are using two per, we're probably going to need more. That's a, a little bit of unfortunality, but it's okay. Unfortunality, is that even a word? Probably not. Probably not. I'm going to go with no. I'm a big N-O there. Alright, so what do we got? Let's just click on this guy. See if we can make up one. Ooh, what is in the center there? Oh, fluid pipe. Okay, that's fine. One, two... Here. Six. Might work. Might work. Um, we'll probably need one more bucket while we're at it, because I do want to go get a bucket of lubricant so we can just tell it, like, hey, don't mess up, please. That would be great. Appreciate it. Um... Now, we can also go ahead and, like, whitelist as well, so that is a good thing. We can blacklist also. That's a good thing. Just depends on how we want to set it up. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still going to need more than one. All right, where are we at? This, um, I'm going to go ahead and start turning this guy back on. And let him start filling back up with stuff, making us all the goodies. You can start running and processing. I need to not leave my backpack out here. Um, all right, so we got those, those, and those. Oh, that's empty? I guess all those fluids are filling up that. How much do these do these pipes hold per pipe? Holy crap. They seem to hold a large amount of fluids in just the pipe. That seems a little OP to me. I'm going to throw that out there. Seems a little OP. Anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and set this up. Um, let's actually grab these. We're gonna put these back here in the back. Maybe actually, let's put these right here. So we can actually kind of make our way up on top of these. And then we're also gonna go ahead and put on top of this our ender tank. From there, let's grab our fluid pipes. We're not going to set that to extract yet. We are not ready for it. Um, let's see. Let's do... Fluid router here. I think we're just going to have to do it this way and put fluid routers on top of these. I just I kind of got that feeling. But let's go ahead and grab our pipes and continue onward. So it's going to be one line of these guys. All the way over. All 
I think this is gonna look pretty nice. Now, we don't really need them if we're gonna do it on this end, because the, this is like the last stop, you know what I mean? This is gonna be the last stop. We can literally blacklist the other ones. So technically we could save them, but just for looks and just simplicity, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way because it just kind of fits the look, you know what I mean? I, I feel like if we didn't put it there, it might just look kind of weird. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and do on this. It's just gonna make it a lot simpler. We'll just do diesel and diesel. So these two are both gonna be kind of like our dudes for diesel. These two are gonna be for gasoline. And then lastly, we got our lubricant. Like I said, I think it's just gonna look better. Yes, we could have saved some resources. Is it that expensive? No. Does it look better? I think so. So we're just going to leave it as is. These guys have nothing in them now. Let's go ahead and flip that switch and watch them start filling up. So let's go ahead and double check and make sure that we are doing good. So this is diesel. Let's go ahead and put that in there. This is... Okay, so it's filling up the diesel first. It's going to go ahead and pull all of the diesel from over there firstly. Now, this isn't super quick. But I think it's actually limited. The, I think our limiting factor here is actually the ender tank. Because it's. I, I'm pretty sure it's not these pipes. And I'm pretty sure those mechanical pipes are literally one of the fastest pipes I've ever seen transferring liquids ever. Um, I think your limiting factor here is probably going to be this ender tank. So it's fine. Once it finally kind of gets through and goes through all of those tanks over there. And starts filling up our tanker. We're going to start looking pretty nice I think. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at maybe starting to set up a system to where we can hook this up to our AE system. We're going to try to get into something a little bit new, if that sounds okay with you guys. So let's go ahead and empty out these buckets, because I don't feel a need to hold on to these anymore. And I know which ones these are going to need to go into. So there we go. Clean that up. And let's go ahead and take our ship and fly home. While this thing goes ahead and does its job filling up stuff and things. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Eventually, I'm probably going to try to build something off the side of this uh, factory room in here. Probably where the windows are right there. And we're going to probably go out and build something like a dock or something like that. Where it's kind of close and, and it's kind of off and on and off loading of our, our system there. 2,500 buckets of biodiesel. Holy good lord. Yeah, I think we're good on biodiesel, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't need the dye, unfortunately. That's, that's fine. No big deal. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get into looking at making some wires. We're going to maybe try out some of these Fluix wire coils. Let's see how well those do. Dense Fluix wire relay. So that it would be for those guys. I don't necessarily have that. Okay, I do. Let's try those out. Why not? I don't think these need relays, do they? I think it's just these two. Well, these are the relays, aren't they? Yeah, that's a relay. Wait, what? Let's try Fluix. What do you show me? I guess it's just relays. Not any connectors. Okay. I've not... Dense Fluix Transformer? Fluix transformer. Okay, I am I am kind of getting the feeling we might need one of these. Possibly this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there on 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 a limb there. Let's grab some cables, which I was literally on that, and a fluid storage bus. All right, cool. I just want to try one of these, and we're gonna try to hook it up like that. So we'll see if we can make our way over there. Um, I wonder if that trick works with these. I doubt it does. Wait, where, where's my other connectors? Relay. I literally heard, heard footsteps. Literally heard footsteps. And they weren't mine. I was not moving. Dang. I wish that was just a thing in all of them. That would just be great. Well, hmm. 
what we can do we can run the cables out of the wall and then use the facade to make it look nice which we only have one left so we'll make it count uh, let's see where are we at cables let's see if we can do this I think we're good to run we'll probably do it and do it since I think we did it from like here I think we should have a line right oh shoot Yep, that, that definitely was a line. Definitely would be a line. I mean, that ain't too bad. That doesn't look horrible. Do that right there. Let's take it out one more block. And we're going to try a couple different ways. First off, let's grab a little bit of factory blocks just to kind of uh, give us a little bit of platform to work on. Do, 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 Come on now. There we go. And a little bit more here. Just something to work on. This will be changed up later. But just to kind of get a proof of concept here. Alright, so that does not look like that works. I'm just going to throw that out there on, on a bomb pit. I don't think it works. I think this is what we got to do. I've never used these before. I'm just assuming. So I'm thinking this is we're going to need two of these in order to make a connection. Which means we're going to need more of these Fluix wire coils. So let's see what we need to do to make some more Fluix wire coils. What do we need? Do I actually need those in aluminum wire? Oh, wow. I guess I do. Well, thankfully, they're actually not that hard to make. A little bit of sand and some Fluix dust. Make us up a nice clean 34. And we'll put them over here in this. Uh, there it is. Growth, crystal growth accelerator. Which. This is not. I don't know. This thing is actually pretty fast, honestly. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That, that was pretty fast. That gets a lot done pretty quick. I'm actually okay with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that one more time. Boom. Bang. Make up 40 of those. Let's get another one of these guys running. Doop and a doop and a dumb and a do usage. Because I think we're going to need one of these over there. Depending on how we want to set this up. Is this going to be long enough to make its way all the way over? This is what I'm curious about. I want to see how, how far we can actually run stuff. So let's actually, before we maybe decide on making just a crazy large amount of stuff there... Let's just go ahead and run this over here. And this is just going to be more or less kind of a test to see if these two are, if it's too far. I, I don't know what the setup is for this particular mod. And I know there is a distance for the ones in regular immersive. I don't know if that applies to the ones from these cables. So that's what we're going to test real quick. We're too far away from the previous connection. All right. So that's good to know. All right. So let's just go ahead and set this up for now. And we'll set up a relay in between. Do, 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 And then I'll figure out how to do this eventually. But this is kind of what I was thinking about doing. There is another method that we can actually do to hook up our system from this to our freighter here. But it requires some singularities and entanglement stuff um, I can't quite remember what it's called but yeah basically now let's see if we can actually try to get this to fit between these two points nice I actually like the color on that <laughs> I know it's like it's kind of purplish it's more purple it almost looks pink on my screen but everyone has different computers you know what I mean so if we set up a dock or some sort of system out here like that, we can actually run these on power lines, and I think it'll look really, really nice that way. Uh, let's see. How do I want to run this over to those? And let's go ahead and check on these while we're here. Lubricant should still be at one bucket. We are at one bucket still there on gasoline, and the diesel is still going? Why did it stop? Maybe it's because it's not chunk loaded. I might be too far away. That could be a thing. We'll have to go over there and take a look. 
All right, anyways, let's go ahead and run this. I kind of want to run it down, but it's going to be kind of a pain to run it down now. Technically, I want to run it under the ship, basically. Let's just get it connected. I'm not too worried. Let's just get it connected. Is that going to be a good line to do this for? Nice. All right, and then... Try to make sure we have it long enough to where we can connect all the way down to this side. And I feel like these on, like, one of these sides here is probably going to look just fine. Honestly. Um, I'm already losing my voice already. Jeez. Alright, we're going to do that. And then let's, from here... Grab this guy. Can I place this upside down? Oh, dude. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so technically we don't really want it like that, but it's okay. We're just going to do a proof of concept. I'll fix this up a little bit later. We're going to put our fluid storage bus right there. Connect it up like so. That doesn't work. That's beautiful, <laughs> but still, it don't work that way. So let's stand off that side and try not to break the... Freaking, where's my, there, that is not it. Where is my, give me that fluid storage bus. Um, instead of trying to break the, the diesel generator, or the g diesel, sorry, thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we've already done. All right, let's see if this gives device online. Device online, oh yeah. So we should be able to access diesel from our system now. And we'll have to go over there and take a look while we finish off the episode and see what's going on with those fluids. But this is just kind of the proof of concept. If you guys have some ideas off of this that you could give me, by all means, put them down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me. Tell me. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. No. It's starting to work now. now that or that's diesel coming in. I'm not really sure. Something's going on here. I think the fluids are trying to come through, but I think maybe this is just its full of lubricant and gasoline. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. I'm going to make my way up here and kind of take a look at these tanks as well. Check on them. So this might not be a working setup with these particular ones. So that's empty because that's where the diesel was. Our lubricant and gasoline is empty. Maybe it is filling up the gasoline now. Maybe it's because it wasn't loaded. We might need a chunk loader. Let's go back over and check it out real quick. No, that's still only got one. Hmm. I may have to play with that system a little bit. What happened here? Why did that come off? Did something happen? Or did that just fly up here because it just flew up here? Hold on, let's do this for a second and see. Yeah, I think either A, we need chunk loading over there. So if you guys know maybe an issue with that, let me know. Um, I may need to use fluid pipes and smaller tanks just to kind of help pull it out and round it faster. Maybe. I'll kind of play around with it soon. But like I said, give me some ideas, guys. Um, this is kind of what I was thinking about doing on trying to set that up. But if we look over here, we should have access to diesel in our system now, hooking it up. The routing system isn't quite looking like it's wanting to work the way I thought it would, which is unfortunate. But there we go. Yeah, we got diesel. So that is how I'm hoping to access our fluids from here over on our freighter. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's nice. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. I will be live streaming this evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, possibly maybe a little bit earlier. So, if you guys are interested and want to come hang out with us this evening and, and laugh at my face, because it is going to be hilarious looking, I promise. That's that's pretty much the most of the surprise, if you guys don't already know. There you go. Um, but, anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let me know if you guys are still enjoying this series. Uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, 
Goodbye.